basically, once again, my name is Sean O'Brien, and it's uh, David Abrams. Mm -hmm. Cool. And we're doing uh, five laps in a Nissan GTR. Sound good? Yes. Awesome. Now, one of the things you notice right off the bat is all these mirrors are set up for me, right? Okay. I'll be watching what's going on behind us. Car's coming up on us quick. I'll turn on the hazards, place my hands on the wheel, and I'll instruct you which side of the track to be on for that pass to happen safely. If we're coming up on a car that we're gonna make a pass on, they're gonna show us that same courtesy turn on their hazards. I'll place my hands on the wheel and I'll instruct you to pass either on the right or the left, all right? I'll be pretty much talking to you the whole time, just giving you those tips and pointers, helping you improve. One of the things that's very important is that you just carry a good constant and consistent brake pressure all the way through your braking zone. It's gonna help keep the car balanced and predictable for when you need to turn in. Then as you turn in, you balance all the way through your corner. Once you get to that apex, that's when you can start to squeeze back onto the throttle, smoothly unwinding the wheel, ending up at your exit. Once you end up at that exit, steering wheel's back to straight, car's pointing the right direction, squeeze to full throttle, right? I'll let you go as fast as you want. <laughs> I'm a big pussy, I'm telling you that right now. <laughs> I'll let you go as fast as you want as long as you're doing things right. All right, just get comfortable with the car, then you can get confident in it, the pace will come. Uh, um, you know, as as that uh, as you get a couple laps down, so don't worry about that stuff. Uh, just keep your eyes up. That's the big thing. That's the big underlining right there. Uh, the underrated, um, the underrated tip. Uh, eyes. Look through your corners. Look where you want to go. You're not just looking at what's next and turning, and then onto what's next and turning. It's okay. Two, three steps ahead. I see them. They're way out there. Boom. Gather that information. All right. Um, turn the wheel one full rotation to the right. Good. Have position goes at nine and three. Thumbs rest right here in these pockets, 9 and 3 o'clock, directly across from each other. A little bit higher. Your thumbs will rest right there in those pockets, fingers strapped yeah. around the back side of the wheel. Paddle shift, sub shift is on the right and down shift is on the left. The car can be driven in automatic or I can explain how the paddle shifts work. Which do you prefer? I don't know. <laughs> I've never done the paddle shifts before. The paddle shift, there's really not a whole lot to it. It's we'll be using third, fourth gear, maybe a touch of fifth. Um, I'll call it the gear changes by telling you when to okay. upshift and when to downshift. But it is an extra step. So let's give it a try. That being said, we'll give it a try with the paddle shifts. If I right. want to change, maybe we'll change it. No somewhere. problem. No problem. <laughs> all right. So other than that, um, yeah, just listen for my call outs. If you notice, they are stationary. They do not move with the wheel because I'll right. never ask you to do a gear change in the middle of a corner. Right. Gear changes always take place in a straight line, whether you're upshifting or downshifting. Yes. Just to point that out, okay? Yes. Questions? No. Rock and roll. Foot on the brake. Clear on your right. Let's start to pull on out. See, uh, Rudy's pulling out in the Corvette to yeah. your left, but that's all that's right. My wife. We're gonna fall. Oh, look at that! <laughs> <laughs> Hold right there. There you go. Let's follow them out. Okay. <laughs> right, do the same exact thing he just did. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. All right, you're gonna go a little bit past that speed limit sign. We'll check the track to make sure it's clear, and then we'll head on. Pull up straight, 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 straight. Oh, straight. Yep. Okay. Let me so just check the track real quick. It looks clear, but let me get a little okay, closer. Sure, Keep close, on going. Close. All right, we are clear. Let's head on to track right okay. between those two blue cones. Okay. You squeeze on the throttle, you unwind the wheel, and hand uh, upshift. You stay to the left side of the track. Yep, it's right next to you. Now you can start to turn it into the right crossing of the track towards your apex, squeezing onto the wheel and squeeze and unwind. Throttle all the way down, shift. Upshift. There you go. Alright, good. So coming in this first braking zone right here, you start applying the brakes, right? Eyes are scanning to the right. You start to come off of the brakes and turn it into the right. Down towards your apex is where you want to end up. Now you start to squeeze back onto that throttle, smoothly unwinding the wheel, ending up at your exit on the left. Throttle all the way to your next braking zone. Apply the brakes. Eyes scanning to the right. Wait to turn. Now turn in towards apex. You start to squeeze back onto the throttle, work your way back over to right, work your way over to right, right. then you turn in left, right on top of the apex, squeeze back on throttle, come out wide right, and then work your way back over to left. Apply the brakes, downshift once, and start your turning to the right. Around towards apex, start to squeeze back on throttle, let the car come out about mid-track or so, keep on throttle, but work your way to the right. Just a little bit of brake here is all you need, then turn in left. Back on throttle, straight through chicane, come out wide left. Wait to turn, now turn in. Keep on going, keep on going, more throttle, more throttle, unwind the wheel. All the way down, keep going, keep going. Right hand up shift. And brakes. 
downshift, start your turning. Good, get down there, off brakes. You got it, it'll hold, I promise. Turn just a little bit more next time. Unwind the wheel, back on throttle, keep going, keep going. Brake, harder. Good, turn in and come off brakes. Transfer to throttle, keep working your way to the right. Good, a little bit of brake, turn in left. Keep turning, keep turning, back on throttle and unwind the wheel just a bit. You come out wide right and you work your way to left. Now keep working your way to left. Now you can apply the brakes and turn in. Keep turning, it's a tight one. Back on throttle and unwind the wheel a little bit. You got all that track out there, come out a little bit wider. Work your way to right. A little bit of brake and turn in left. Squeeze back on throttle, go straight through the chicane. So come all the way out, a little bit of brake, now turn in right. Rotate towards apex, squeeze throttle, and unwind the wheel. Good, keep going, keep going, keep going. Right hand up shift. Good, brake hard. Down shift, turn in. Good, off brakes. Keep turning, turn the wheel more. Now back on throttle, and unwind the wheel. Good, keep going, keep going, keep going. Up shift. Brake. Down shift. Turn in. Come off Whoa. brakes, come off brakes. Work your way to right. Just that little bit of brake here, then turn in left. When you carry the brakes on really hard, right. there's a lot of weight up front. It's also a front engine car, so that makes the rear end really light. So sometimes if you come off the brakes, you'll actually transfer some weight back to the rear, kind of balance out the car, giving yourself a little bit more grip. All right, back on throttle, and work your way to right. Just that little bit of brake here, then turn in left. Turn in, back on throttle, go straight through the chicane. Come out wide left, all the way, wait to turn, wait to turn, now turn in. Squeeze throttle, and unwind. Keep going, keep going. Upshift. And brake. Downshift, turn in. Off brake, just turn. You gotta turn the wheel more than that though. See, it'll hold. Yeah, yeah. It's got good grip, doesn't it? It's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. Good, keep going, keep going, keep going. And brake. Harder. Start to turn in. Come off brakes. Good, turn more. Now throttle. Work your way to right though. So, a little bit of brake, turn in left. Balance. Squeeze throttle. Good hand position. Keep working your way back over to left. Apply the brakes. Eyes scanning to the right, turn in. Keep turning. Squeeze throttle, unwind the wheel. You got it. Work your way to right. A little bit of brake and turn in left. Squeeze throttle straight through the chicane. Come out wide left. Wait to turn, wait to turn. Now turn in. You're still kind of pitching yourself off. You kind of use all that track. Remember, that's your real estate. You own it. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Upshift. Good, brake hard, downshift, and start your turning. Good, get down there, get down there. Come off brakes, transfer to throttle. You got it, back on throttle, keep going, keep going. Brake, eyes scanning right, and turn in. Off brakes, transfer to throttle. Keep working your way to right though. So eyes should be glancing to the left, now start your turning. Balancing over the crest, good. Unwind the wheel, come out a little bit wider. Keep working your way back over to the left. Keep on that throttle, keep going, keep going. Apply the brake, stay to the left side of the track. This is going to be our end lap. You're gonna go right in between these two white cones coming up. Yep, you're good, keep going. Right in between them, go up and over all the way down. All right. David, how was that? That was amazing. Impressive machine, isn't amazing. it? Amazing. It's all about learning the car's capabilities. Getting that good, smooth racing line down by working at the track. Wow. And then building up your pace, and that's really what happened out there. So nice job. It's really all about kind of training your eyes to stay those, you know, those couple steps ahead. The faster you go, too, you have to train your eyes to get a little bit quicker. Really go around the outside okay. here. I'll show you where to park. Yeah. You're going to park right next to that yellow Corvette okay. C7 Stingray. Okay. And pull us right into pit eight. Good. Keep on going. Keep on going. Yeah, right there is good. You come to a stop, turn the wheel full rotation to the left. Questions? No, it was awesome. You wanna do it again? Well, I'm doing the Ferrari next. Okay, awesome. Let's be ejected into that. <laughs> on the track, so you're always able to process that stuff from the edge. All right, let's get us going. So we got 
David Abrams, Abrams in the uh, Italian for five laps after coming out of that GTR. You did five in it too? I did. Good. Are you doing another car after this one? Or I don't think so. Hey, we'll get you hooked. What do you mean? You'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> Depends on the, the wife. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I have my here's nerves. what's smart too. Here's what's smart. You get the wife hooked to this too. And it's much easier to come out and play. She did the, she did the drift in the oh, did she? Oh, yeah. see, yeah. so next time she can see how much smile your last sound. She has no driver's license. Okay, well, but next time she, but see, next time she won't let you have as much fun by yourself, so she's going to drive for sure next time. <laughs> all right, all right. So, and this is Dave getting your visions all the way up front of that car for me. Made me focus, of course, on that good way around the track. Always keeping that vision as far forward on that track as you possibly can. That way it lets us know where we're going before we even get there. If you wait to look just in front, we get there so quick, it'll just start overwhelming you. So I'll remind you out there, keeping that vision out there. All right, I'll be calling that brake out for you. My brake's like this. Okay. So when I call the brake, you're just going to progressively start squeezing on that brake and okay. like it's a tennis ball. So for in the braking zone, I call for more brake. It just means I want you to squeeze it tighter for me. What we don't want to do is pulsate the brake or stab it. We just want a good constant pressure. Now that's where that physics kind of comes You're talking about the balance in the classroom. What they're talking about is this car sitting here statically is rear engine, rear wheel drive only. Some solver weights behind this. There's not much weight on those front tires. Okay, so they're not going to want to have much grip. So, but under braking, you're doing two things. You're not only slowing the car down, but you're physically transferring a huge amount of weight to the front end. Now, the GTR was really good because it sets up so high, it has that pendulum effect. So you can really feel that weight moving around yes. in that car. It moves the same way in here. It's just harder to feel, more precise. So that's what we're going to utilize out that car to handle. So what I want you to do is you want to squeeze that brake in your turning point, keeping the brake on, you get the front end of the car to turn. As that front end turns, we don't need the weight, so we start releasing that brake, letting the weight come off the nose and go to the back, so the back's going to fall us around the corner. Make sense? Makes and sense. you'll feel it, especially in this car. It doesn't have an all-wheel drive, so it doesn't mass those mistakes. Right. Nothing going to tell those cars at that end are kind of the medium maintenance women. Cars at this end are the high maintenance. <laughs> so that one band-aids some of those mistakes. This one screams out of you what it likes and what it dislikes. Okay? <laughs> so that's kind of that understanding. The more we listen to that car, the faster it'll be out there. All right, so mirrors are for me, so I'll be watching that back end okay. of the car. If somebody does catch us from behind, I'm going to let you know, rest behind the steering wheel okay. with you, and I'll give the car the flashers. That'll give them the okay to go around us. It's reverses. We catch up to another car, we wait for them to give us flashers, and then we get going around them. Okay? Paddle shifters on this one, left side downshift, right side upshift, pretty much similar to the GTR. They're going to stay stationary yeah. with the calm, but they made they took everything out of the way for the Italia. Right. The Italia shifts, the easiest way to explain this is shifts like a video game. It really does. It just, boom, it's there. I'm going to call your upshifts and downshifts. Another thing too, now we're in a Ferrari. Ferrari is like said on the high maintenance side, it likes to scream. So it likes close to that 7,500 RPM range before we shift, okay? So don't short shift it. Wait for me to call your upshifts and downshifts. We'll get you in a great rhythm out there, okay? Let's go have some fun. Okay. We'll keep that smile on the permanent. That's why I have to warn her afterwards. You were smiling last longer than four hours. She's going to send you to the doctor afterwards. <laughs> All right, let's go do this. Okay. All right, so just put on your brake. Pull your upshifter back one time. That'll put us into oh, first gear. Okay. And yep, you got it. Come on out nice and smooth. The track's going to be all yours, it looks like. So nice smooth. We'll head down through the center. <laughs> this car's a lot louder than the GTR already. Oh, yes. Oh, wait till we get out there. Like I, I said, heard it from inside. Yeah, you, so you're talking about a screamer. Yeah. This is a screamer. <laughs> yeah, come on straight out. And this one's actually got a triple clutch in it, so there's actually three distance to use it to engage it. All right, nice and smooth on our way out. We'll head out between the blue cones again. You got it. Yeah, nice and smooth again. Straight out through your blue yes. cones. First turn in is straight ahead. So go ahead and squeeze that throttle. Yep, you got it. Hands going. Keep going. Run out there. Upshift. Keep going. Yeah, just keep that throttle going. Upshift again. We're by your turn in point. Now we're going to turn in tight to the apex. And now squeeze that throttle. We're using all that road. Go ahead and squeeze that throttle. Keep squeezing. You're looking forward to that track straight away. See how well that car turned? Get in tight. Now squeezing that throttle, looking forward on that track, using all that road as you come off. So you want to make sure you use all that road. Run it in there, just throttle. Keep it going. Go, go, go. All right, great. Put that weight on the nose. That's going to help us turn. We're going to turn in tight to your apex, then off your brake. Now it's the car, squeeze that throttle back to your right side. There you go. See that rhythm? All right, we're going to brake. Turn in tight to the apex, turn it in first, and now squeeze that throttle. Go squeeze it. See if we're using that road. See how I'm straighten out your exits for you. Back to your left side. Keep going, you're going. We're going to brake, downshift one, stay out here, then turn in tight to your apex, and now squeeze that throttle. Go, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. You got it. Good, squeeze it. See, trust me, I'll show you your way. You're on some brake here. Turn in, look forward, straight to that turning point. See how straight it is. Go right at it. Yes. We're going to brake, turn in, now throttle, squeeze it. 
Keep squeezing, go, squeeze it all, wait, squeeze it. Trust me. See on straight line, upshift. Upshift, keep going, yep. Upshift again. Run it straight in here. Ready? Brake. Downshift one, keep that brake pressure. We're gonna wait out here, keep on that brake, turn in smoothly, then off your brake, balance that car, now squeeze that throttle, go. Squeeze it. See, we use all that road, see how straight that exit is. Squeeze that throttle, look forward, yes, you're gonna brake. Put that weight on the nose, we got a 90 degree corner, so we're gonna turn in tight to that apex, then off your brake, balance the car, then squeeze your throttle. Yes, let's get that rhythm, brake. Brake, turn in, oh, we overshot that one. Get us turn, now squeeze that throttle. So get that rhythm, we gotta keep ahead of that car, because it gets our quick. So we're looking around the corner already, we're gonna brake, we know this is a long corner, so we're gonna stay out, we're gonna turn in tight, and now we're gonna squeeze our throttle, because we're gonna get that straight exit. Go, squeeze it. Nice, smooth, squeeze, back to your right hand side, brake here, turn in. Look forward, straight that turn in point. Squeeze that throttle. There you go, Dave. Keep going right at it. Smooth. We're going to brake. Turn in tight your apex. And now squeeze that throttle. Go, squeeze it. Squeeze it. Use that road. Squeeze it. Keep squeezing it all the way down. Yes, go. Yeah, there you go. Keep it going. Up shift. Yes, ready? Brake. Down shift one. Keep on that brake. It's going to help us turn. We're going to turn in tight. Then off your brake. Now it's the car. Keep it tight. Wait for the throttle. Now throttle. See if we get that early throttle, it's going to push the nose out. So we got to wait till we get the car turned. Get that weight on the nose, smooth turn in, then off your brake, bounce the car, squeeze that throttle, go, squeeze it. See, it's that dance. Hey, brake, tight into the apex, squeeze that throttle, go, squeeze it, squeeze it, hard, all of it. Smooth, see, it's nice, straight, brake, keep that weight on the nose, smooth, tight, turn in, then off your brake, no tight, now squeeze the throttle, using that road you come up. See, there you are, getting it back to your right hand side. We're gonna brake here, look forward, turn in, and straight line to your turn in point. Go right at it, yes. Okay, we're gonna brake here, get that turned in first, turn it, turn it, turn it, now throttle. So you gotta get the car turned, then we get huge throttle. If we get greedy on the throttle, it'll rob all it from you. Up shift. Excellent, Dave. Keep us running, man. You're doing great. Keep us in here. Ready, brake. Healing it. Down shift one, keep that brake pressure. Smooth turn in, turn in, turn then off your brake. See how well turned? And now squeeze that throttle. Using that road as you come up. So keeping that in mind with that weight on the nose, that car's gonna turn fine for you. We're gonna brake, downshift one, keeping the weight, downshift, turn in, turn in, then off your brake and squeeze that throttle. Go, you got it. See, back to your right side. We're gonna brake here, turn in tight to that apex, and now squeeze that throttle. Go, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, keep squeezing, keep squeezing, keep squeezing, keep squeezing, keep squeezing, keep squeezing, brake. There you go, keep on that brake. We're gonna turn in tight first, and now throttle. Go, throttle now. See, you gotta wait for that throttle, you get that fun one coming off. Brake, back here, right outside. Brake here. Turn in first, and now straight out to your turning point. See, look forward, you got it. <laughs> get it? We're gonna brake by it, turn in tight, and now squeeze that throttle. Go, you gotta use all that road. That was all you. See, keeping your vision forward makes more sense, doesn't it? Up shift. Keep that going, you're doing excellent. Nice, good focus up front. We're gonna brake, put that weight on the nose, down shift one. Smooth turn in, then off your brake, balance the car, keep it tight, and now squeeze that throttle. Go, yeah, see how straight that exit was. Yeah, let's run it in there, Dave. Brake, put that weight on that nose by your turning point, then turn in, then off your brake, bounce the car, squeeze that throttle. Oh, that was all you. Awesome job. Brake, tight into the apex first, turn it in, turn the wheel, then squeeze your throttle. See, it'll turn. You just gotta use that steering wheel back to your left side. Okay, keeping that vision all the way forward. We know our apex way over here. We're gonna brake. Turn it all the way tight to your apex first. Wait for that throttle. Now squeeze that throttle. And use that road as you come up. Yeah, see how it likes it better? Back to your right side. All right, brake. Turn in. Look forward. Straight to that turn in point. Go right at it. Yes. Okay, you're going to brake here. Whoop. Then turn in. Now throttle. So you're trying to get the longest straight away. Go ahead. It's all you. See? Straight exit. Very nice. Up shift. Keep that vision around when we run the track. We know where it comes out this way. So we're going to brake. Putting that weight on the nose, so we gotta make a turn. Smooth turn in, all the way turn in, then off your brake, bounce the car, and now squeeze that front. Oh, yes, much better. We use all that road. See how that car wants to use it all. Back to your left. Brake here, Dave. Keep that weight on the nose, help it turn again. Smooth turn in, then off your brake, bounce the car, squeeze that throttle. Perfect answer there. That's what you want in all those corners. Brake. Tight into the apex first, all the way tight, and now squeeze that throttle. Looking forward on that track. Very nice. Back to your left hand side. Go, there's five for us. Excellent job, man. Oh, wait, now she have to sit on. Hey, that goes great. <laughs> okay, okay. Yep, right on through there. Yeah, excellent job, man.
That's about easy. all I could take, seriously. Like, <laughs> I had that brain going. You, and you notice, as I got your brain thinking further out of the head of the car, we started to help the car do what it needs to do. That's how you're fast. I'm literally you're crying right now. <laughs> <laughs> See, I told you I got that brain working. Come on in. <laughs> This car feels yeah, a lot so more yeah. alive than yeah, the GTR. Yeah. In a way, like yeah. just you know, it's just tighter. But you know, from a physics standpoint, they're all the same. Right. From the standpoint, they only sit on four patches of rubber. Right. But now I get you thinking. Wait, you're gonna see if you go into that GTR again, you're gonna drive it different like you did this one, and it's gonna be just as fast as this one is on the outside. Well, maybe not. This Sally's got lots of horsepower and stuff, and it does a lot of the engineering. The noise too, I think, adds yeah. to it. Like, yeah. it, it's almost distracting. You know, it is right. right. Like, well, not only that, but the shifting. I get some people going down the shifting. They're just having fun shifting. I'm like, <laughs> uh, hey, we got a corner coming up. It's like we got to drive this car, and they're like, oh, this is fun. I'm like, uh, uh, hang on, <laughs> come on up. We just go right next number to that. Four, yeah. yeah, we'll go next one over. Uh, yeah, number two. We'll take number two. two. Yeah. yeah, just kind of go out wide yeah. there and swing her on in. But yeah, this really is a one real I mean, and that's what I mean, you know, the last guy, first car, but he has a four, uh, he has a 599, so he already has a car that right. uh, had a little bit, so, you know, it, it, he had a little bit more prepared, so he wasn't quite as overwhelmed. Like I said, I was going, and there, that big old smile going on there, like, oh yeah, let's go, but I gotta keep that brain engaged. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll both shift it back together, we'll put us in neutral, and just turn that wheel all the way to left. You got it, we'll let it run so it'll cool okay. off. Excellent job, man. Amazing. See, now I got you really thinking, what I'm saying is, you can tell all these kids if you can't think your way ahead of that car, you'll never be really fast in the car. Because what we do is we think we know what we're going to do with the car, and we start finding it. And that's what the, most of you guys think. Okay, that's the limit of the car, is because I can hear the tire screaming at you, right. not knowing that you're making it scream because you're not doing what it's listening to. As you start listening to that car, help the car do what it is engineered to do, then man, super fast. And I tell guys, it's ninety percent, ninety percent mental work, only ten percent physical. Yeah. Unless you're fighting the car, then it can be really physical. Right. No, but if mentally, you listen to it, it's, it's more work mentally. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. So you did awesome. That's what I like to see. I said, when 